uh, biologist, I welcome you all to our channel uh, where we simplify, break down and digest the biological concepts. Now people have been requesting me to at least drop one video talking about practical. Yeah, and I've taken some time and uh, I'm going to drop this soon. So today we are going to simplify a one number from one of the moko bodies and that is Mati. That is Matigo. Biology paper what? Paper 2. As I told you that paper 2 and paper 3 are the same. So don't get worried that for us we are doing paper 2, others are doing paper 3. Don't get worried they are the same but they just switch the what? They just switch the questions. Uh -huh. Now allow me begin by taking you through the what? The scenario. Uh, now they are saying Caesar is a university student preparing for his final exams. Uh, we are saying uh, which are three months away now he feeds on one type of snack we have to take that on that he feeds on one type of snacks uh, which he buys from the university canteen now recently he started suffering from frequent infections and he easily become sorry and easily becomes tired after 30 minutes now to uh, to overcome his health challenges and, and increase the amount of time he could spend reading, Caesar's friend advised him to change his what? His diet. Now, he is wondering which food nutrients uh, should be included in his diet. Now, they are saying you are provided with food sample P and Q, uh, which have been prepared from... Uh, from the food samples from the food substances sold at the university canteen now before we go to the task please i want you to digest and really identify which food nutrients you are going to test in your procedures and people have been having challenges here especially candidates they have been they have been having challenges here whereby People have been asking me, people have been coming in my inbox that, sir, when you are dealing with the food test, are we supposed to test everything, every food nutrient? I, the answer is no. If somebody tests everything, it is an indication that this person did not read the scenario and he understand. So we are not going to test everything. You get? But now what we are going to do, we are going to digest now the scenario and be able to identify which areas are we going to test uh, let's read it for the second time we are saying caesar is a university student preparing for his final exams which are three months away so we are saying he feeds on one type of snack which he buys from the university canteen now they are saying recently he started suffering from frequent infections now you ask yourself really what causes uh, somebody to begin suffering from frequent infections uh, uh, that could be maybe that person is having weak what weak immunity and then you ask yourself if somebody is suffering or oh, is having weak immunity what could be the mineral nutrient that person is lacking Obviously, it is vitamin one, vitamin C. So, uh, in your uh, procedures, we are going to test for vitamin one, vitamin C. Uh -huh. Then from there, they are saying uh, this person easily becomes tired after reading. Uh, easily becomes tired. Uh, easily becomes tired after what? After reading for thirty minutes. Then you ask yourself. That really, uh, if somebody is, actually, if somebody becomes tired after reading for only 30 minutes, what could be the cause? Maybe you say the body is what? Is weak. Then you ask yourself, what could be now? The cause. Maybe the cause could be lack of what? Lack of the, the energy giving food in the body. Now, which nutrient is that one? That is the star, starch. You get. So, in it. In, 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 in your procedures, uh, you can test for uh, vitamin C and you can test for what? For, 
for starch according to the scenario you get yeah you can also test for what for proteins and end it there according to the scenario because they have given you that somebody suffering from frequent infections and easily becomes tired after reading for only 30 what 30 minutes then after identifying that you go now to the what to the scenario they are saying uh, you are provided with the food samples p and q which have been prepared from food substances sold at the university canteen mm -hmm. now let's go let's look at the task uh, they are saying you are provided with the uh, sorry they are saying uh, design that is the task design and carry out a scientific investigation on samples p and q then uh, use your results to identify a food sample that you would recommend to be part of Caesar's diet and explain your recommendation. Now they are saying uh, uh, your design and investigation should, should include the following. Uh, they have talked about the aim, uh, hypothesis, variables, and the apparatus or requirement. But before you go, before you look at the, the answers for these questions, I want to make this one clear. Somebody can begin with the aim, of course. The aim comes first. Then uh, the hypothesis and the variable. Somebody can begin with the with the hypothesis, then the variable. Or you can begin with the uh, variables and then what? Hypothesis. You get it. It is okay. So uh, let's look at now the, what? the answers for these questions. Uh -huh. Now, when you're writing the aim, this is how you write the aim. I told you in the previous video that if you write the aim, please add the reason for that word, for that aim. And we say, uh, this is our aim. An experiment uh, to investigate uh, the food nutrients or components or values contained in samples P and Q. Uh -huh. Then now the, the reason and use the results to recommend the the best sample Caesar can feed up upon to manage his health condition. When you write your aim like that, you have added the reason. Therefore, uh, you qualify to get an A05. The way, actually, the, 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 the success criteria there. Then, uh, this is what I was telling you, that when you look at the note, they are saying, after the aim, the candidate can start with either the hypothesis or the variable. The order does not matter. Then from there, let's look at it, uh, the, the variables. Uh, of course, we have the independent variable. And when we talk about the independent variable, there we are having the samples. That is the sample P and the sample Q. Then talk about the dependent, dependent variable. Here we are having the color changes observed and the, when when we talk about the constant uh, you can call it controlled or fixed here we have volumes of reagents uh, we also have volumes of uh, food sample then we can use clean apparatus used uh -huh. so that is our variables then we go for the hypothesis now this is our hypothesis uh, they are saying both samples p and q have different food nutrients or components and they say the correct correct hypothesis score h2 h2 that is the hypothesis then they say if they, they are saying that incorrect hypothesis score H0. That means somebody has scored a zero there. Now they are saying if the food components are stated in the hypothesis. So if you write the food components in your hypothesis, they are going to score you zero. But in most cases, they can give you cause. Those people are lenient. Now when we look at the materials, the materials we are having, now for the materials, you only state the materials you are going to use in the, in the, in the what? In the procedures for example we have the test tubes they are going to be there we have the heat source uh, we have copper to sulfate here you can use volume one cubic centimeter of copper to sulfate it is okay but when you're writing copper to sulfate please prefer actually prefer writing 
uh, not the chemical formula write the word copper to sulfate then dilute sodium hydroxide then you can write benedict's solution uh, you can write dilute hydrochloric acid but don't write the symbols you get because you may end up making a lot of errors in those symbols write the words uh, so we are saying that was part what part a then part b they are saying procedure and the results of investigation let's look at the procedures and the results of investigation uh -huh. now uh, when we look at it, the procedures now here uh, there you can use any format you want but today uh, but me i'm using this one they are saying procedures remember we are going to test for starch we are going to test for vitamins vitamin c by the way we're going to test for vitamin c and then we can test even for for proteins those three according to our scenarios the challenges we had in the scenarios now they are saying uh we can use table form actually the best way is the board table form then this side uh, you have to write the test procedures whereby these test procedures must be in uh in the past tense because when you write them in the present tense you are like instructing the examiner that please put my paper aside uh, get a test tube and add what iodine solution you get so let's write in past word past tense for example, we can say when you are testing for starch, we can say 1 cubic centimeter uh, of the test solution or of the food sample in the test tube uh, was added 2 drops of iodine. Or you can say was added 3 drops of what? iodine. Then uh, our, our next table will be having now the, what? The, the sample. Here we are having P2. Then the observation which we are, we are saying that uh, somebody can 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 write the final color it is okay that he, uh, it can be either darker blue or black when a starch is present but write one then he, uh, uh, somebody can say a milk solution if you have identified it but if you don't know it don't stress just write the final what the final color then for two we are seeing that the solution remained turned what turned brown yeah you can put brown solution but you can put brown you don't break this is new curriculum don't break yourself but it is okay you can add a brown solution you can add a black solution it's okay uh -huh. then somebody may say but master why don't we add the deduction so remember uh, that table of deduction will be having negative statements like uh, starch is absent in two and remember this is a report whereby uh, you want to eliminate the negative what the negative statements but it is okay if you feel like you want to write please write nobody is going to penalize you for that uh, remember you have to test for our vitamins now when you are testing for vitamin c we shall see that to one cubic centimeter of this cpip that is dichlorophenol in the rofino in the test tube. But don't write dichlorophenol in the rofino. No. Write it. DCPIP in the test tube. Uh, was, then was added the food sample drop by drop until what? Until in excess. So now remember in our scenario, we saw that uh, vitamin C must be there. Because it's the one which weakens the immunity such that a person may begin experiencing what frequent infections so we shall we we, we shall say that uh, for this pip in e2 we actually in e2 we shall say that uh, uh, the deep blue color of this pip was decolorized or turned what turned colorless the blue color uh, turned what colorless or we can say it turned we say decolorized in a p then in a two we see that it remained what blue then we test for proteins as i told you, you can test for proteins we said one two big centimeter of the sample in the test tube i uh, was added one two big centimeter of sodium hydroxide solution followed by two drops of copper two sulfate and shaken then we shall say that in a p proteins we are not there 
and in two proteins we are also not one there because when you read it, when you read through our scenario and we understand it properly you will see that we are having vitamins c and e, uh, starch only uh -huh. so from there let's look at it let's proceed the next question now let's combine this they are saying identify the food sample uh, you would recommend it to be part of Caesar's diet. Then explain why you have recommended the sample in C Roman number one above to be part of Caesar's diet. Let's handle. Let's look at the answer. Uh -huh. Then the food, the food sample. You, 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 they said identify the food sample. You would recommend it to be part of Caesar's diet. Now that is the food sample. What? Food sample P. We have seen that in food sample P, we are having starch and e, vitamin C. Then they are saying, explain why you have recommended the sample in C, Roman number and above to be part of Caesar's diet. Of course, we shall say that sample P contains starch, which is broken down to glucose. Uh, that provides energy that enables Caesar to read books for longer hours without getting tired. Then we saw that in a sample P contains vitamin C, which is needed by Caesar's body for immunity development to be able to fight against the infections. Yeah, I therefore sign out because now when we, when we read that this one, they are saying the carbohydrates, all starch and vitamin C, uh, we are absent in food sample too, hence not recommended for what? For Caesar. So if you find this information useful, please uh, share with the friends and classmates and also be part of the group educating the what educating the nation I sign out so don't mind about the answers which are in that table you get i sign out